Hey viewers, welcome back to another video of biopharmaceutics and pharmacokinetics series. So let's get into it. Today we're gonna talk about first pass effect, which is also known as first pass metabolism or pre-systemic metabolism. It is a phenomenon of drug metabolism where the concentration of the drug is greatly reduced before reaching to the systemic circulation. The first pass effect is mainly associated to the liver as liver is a major site of drug metabolism. However, the first pass effect can also occur in lungs, vasculature, gastrointestinal tract and other metabolically active tissues in the body. This effect can be augmented by the various factors such as plasma protein concentration, enzymatic activity in the liver, and gastrointestinal motility. The extent to which a patient may experience the first pass effect may vary from patient to patient, and this must also be taken into consideration when determining an appropriate dosage regime for a patient. So how the first pass metabolism take place? After the drug is swallowed, it is absorbed into the digestive system and enter into the hepatic portal system. It is carried to the portal vein into the liver before it reaches the rest of the body or the systemic circulation. The liver metabolizes many drugs, sometimes to such an extent that only a small amount of the active drug reaches to the systemic circulation. This first pass through the liver then greatly reduces the bioavailability of that drug. Notable drugs that experience a significant first pass effect include amipramine, morphine, propranolol, diazepam, midazolam, cimetidine, and lidocaine. As first pass effect greatly reduces the bioavailability of the drug, so we can choose an alternative route of administration like post-treat, intravascular, intramuscular, aerosol, transdermal or sublingual route of administration to avoid the first pass effect because they allow the drug to absorb directly into the systemic circulation and avoiding the first pass effect. So that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this video. For more content about pharmacy and medicine, please like and share this video and subscribe to my channel PharmacyD. Thank you.